The Nissan Kicks is a good looking car and it's a special one for not only does it replace the similarly sized Juke but the smaller Tida as well. Two birds with one stone then, the Kicks takes on the youthful SUV segment that is home to the Hyundai Creta, Kia Soul and Renault Capture and wears a starting price of 62,000 dirhams with this fully loaded model coming in at an acceptable 79,000. Despite omitting the funky, unorthodox design and dazzling colour options of the Juke, the Kicks retains its joyous character. Flaunting the brand's V-motion grille and boomerang-shaped headlamps, its unique design is complemented by a floating roof, 17-inch alloys and a powerful stance. Simply said, there's nothing like it on the road and it does turn quite a few heads. Simplistic and built with the objective of being affordable, the Kicks displays its modernity with piano black and silver finishes, complemented by contrast stitching along the dashboard, leather seats and sporty flat-bottom steering wheel. The uncluttered centre console houses a USB and auxiliary audio input and plenty of usable cubby holes. In the back, legroom and headroom are in line with what the competition have to offer, but the same cannot be said for overall comfort. The rear seats are stiff, they do not recline, and the lack of rear AC vents are definitely not a good thing in the scorching summer months. For 79,000 dirhams, the Kicks offers an adequate amount of tech. There's a tyre pressure monitoring system, automatic headlamps, steering audio and Bluetooth controls, automatic AC, a 7-inch infotainment screen with an around-view monitor that makes parking an absolute breeze, an intelligent proximity key and a lot more. Why they've chosen to eliminate an essential feature like cruise control then, I'm not sure. Targeted toward young, trendy drivers, the Kicks is effortless to manoeuvre with a light steering and phenomenal outward visibility. Its dimensions are easy to judge and though it is small, it does maintain its ground without being jostled by larger vehicles on the highway. Under the hood lies a 1.6-litre engine that produces 118 horsepower and 149 newton meters of torque, which is nothing to write home about for it is the weakest amongst its rivals. With no speeding fines to worry about then, the Kicks clocks 100 km per hour in 11.5 seconds and averages an impressive 13 kilometers per liter of gasoline. Helping it achieve that figure is a D-step CVT transmission that mimics the shifting pattern of a traditional automatic and reduces the rubber band effect and annoying drone that CVTs are known for. Around town, there's plenty of driving aids from hill start assist and traction control to vehicle dynamic control and active ride control that help drivers get the most out of the kicks. My favourite, however, is the active trace control system that applies a small, unnoticeable amount of brakes to the inner wheels to correct the line of the vehicle and avoid understeer when cornering at high speeds. The kicks isn't as bold as its predecessor. And for those who are looking to make a statement, there are far more flamboyant vehicles on offer. Subtlety and maturity is how the Kicks has chosen to play its cards. And for 79,000 dirhams, it's a good, comfortable, fuel efficient and easy to drive daily driver if you're willing to overlook some of its shortcomings. Thanks for watching.